Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eric and I like to read and today I'm going to be doing my November wrap up. So as many of you know, for my November TBR, I was reading all books that Marcus chose for me. So yeah, I have a bunch of books that I got through. I did not read all eight of them. I only read six of them, but that's because all of them were bigger books. I will say I did play a lot of video games in November too, but the, a lot of those books were bigger books for me. So it took me longer to get through them. I did enjoy most of them. So let's jump into it and I'll tell you what I thought about each book. So the first book I read was the first book in the Cradle series. This is the only one that I gave a three out of five stars. And the reason I did that is because it was the first book. A lot of it was set up. Um, there were some characters that came in at near the end of the book that I really liked, but I only got them for a little bit and I would have liked to have more of them throughout the book, but I can totally see this series being opened up for these new characters that were introduced and also the main character of the book. There's lots of development happening there and there's things that I can see going forward in this series. This is like already a 10 book series with more to come. So like I can see a lot happening <laughs> in it. And there were some really cool elements to the book that I did enjoy. And so yeah, it overall just kind of like leveled out of three stars, but that's okay. I will be continuing the series because I do have the next two books in this series already on Kindle. So yeah, I'll definitely be continuing it and I'm excited to see where it goes with these characters that were introduced that I'm like excited about. I, I, I definitely have a type of character that I really enjoy in books. And <laughs> Marcus, anytime there's a book that like has this type of character, I get to that point and I'm, I go tell Marcus, I'm like, I have a new favorite character of this book. It's amazing. And he's like, yeah, you realize this character is like the same character in every book. And it's very true. So I definitely have a type, but that's not a problem for me. I'm glad that those kind of characters are in these books. Um, I don't, I can't say like what type of character cause I don't want to really give away anything, but yeah. The next book I read was Artificial Condition, which is the second book in the Martha Wells series. And there's another character in this series that was introduced that like stole my heart as soon as they showed up. I love this character. And it's, just, they're just, they're like an adorable robot. And I just, I love how they interact with Murderbot. Like I'm always, I'm always really into the side characters. Although in this series, I do really enjoy Murderbot as well. And I really think that they're developed in a way that's like relatable, but also like they're AI. So it's, it's kind of weird if you relate to it, but at the same time, like you feel yourself relating to this robot and you're like, okay. Um, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed Murderbot in this one. I enjoyed their different interactions with humans. It like always cracks me up the way they interact with humans and <laughs> just like, the way they talk about humans in general is hilarious. I'm really excited to continue on in this series. I want to know like what's going to happen in Murderbot's story. And yeah, these books are so fun to fly through. I think, what did I give this one? I think I gave this one a four out of five stars. And I believe I gave the first one a four out of five stars as well. So far, the series has just been overall like a very satisfying, enjoyable book series. And so I'm really looking forward to the next one. As you guys saw, I'm reading the next one in my December TBR. So that will be coming up and I'm looking forward to it immensely. Then I read Sky Hunter by Mary Lou. And you guys got a lot of how I felt about this because I did a reading vlog with this book in it. So I talked about it a lot, but I did really enjoy this dystopian world. I think Mary Lou is really good at writing like early... 2010s dystopian so kind of similar to like the hunger games divergent her young elite series was early 2010s like that kind of stuff maze runner like those kind of dystopian books are like what i really enjoy and i had felt that so much in this one um this one was also really cool because it was like a really it was like a blend of like fantasy and sci-fi and i just thought it was really interesting to see like the different civilizations or like different areas of the civilization and different societies and how they were interacting with each other, how they had 
different weapons that they were using and things like that. And yeah, it was just, it was a really cool book. I can't like dive too much more into like an explanation because I don't want to give anything away, but like this book was fascinating. Like I, it, it had its grips in me and I was like flying through it and really enjoying the story. It was a very fast paced plot and I really like fast paced plots. I am learning that some books that are character driven, I do enjoy as well, but usually it's like, I'm very plot driven more than character driven. And this one had a very fast paced plot throughout the entire book. Like I, I didn't really find that there were any down moments and it also built the world at the same time as you're going at this like breakneck speed of a plot, which I thought that was really good because like it kept me immersed, but I was also learning about all the backstory and all the necessary information that I needed while being thrown into this like action packed book. So yeah, I thought this one was really good and you guys have already seen it before, but like under the dust jacket, it's absolutely stunning. Also the front is absolutely stunning. I love this blend of colors that they've chosen for this book. So yeah, I am going to be anxiously awaiting the sequel. I think this is a duology and I'm pretty sure Marcus already has the sequel on the shelf. So I say anxiously awaiting it, but like that just means I'm going to try and pick it up sometime soon on another TBR because I really want to finish off this series while it's still fresh in my mind. Next up, I read How the King of Elflame Learned to Hate Stories. And this one I'm giving a 3.5, I would say. Um, it's essentially like it's it's kind of like a short story but it's more of like an add-on to the series where we're just getting other scenes from like other people's perspectives. But like most of this stuff has already happened. There's a little bit of new information and like new additions to the story overall. But a lot of it was kind of like repetitiveness that I've seen before. I will say though that the book has a whole bunch of beautiful illustrations in it. I'll just, I'll open it, I'll show you guys. So like throughout the book, the chapters open like this and then have like really nice illustrations and there's almost an illustration on every single page so I will say that that kind of adds to the quality of the book and like makes you a little bit more immersed in the story so I did really enjoy that and I'm always a sucker for really nice art styles so like that was cool too so yeah overall 3.5 it was just kind of like a little bit repetitive and felt like I was reading the same story <laughs> but I do really like Fae stories, I've realized that, so it was nice to kind of like jump back into this world with these familiar characters again, and yeah, it was nice. Then we have Aurora Burning, and oh my god, this was a five star book. I I just like, I think it's this writing duo, Jay Kristoff with Amy Kaufman, when they're together, like it's always a hit for me. I, I just, I enjoy every book they write together, and this one did not disappoint at all. I'm so excited to dive back into this universe and explore like the different areas with this ragtag team of misfits. And ah, oh, it was just so awesome. And this book is split like with all different um, chapters for like each person of the team. So you get a whole bunch of different perspectives on what they're going through. And some of those perspectives I like definitely liked more than others. There was also a character introduced about halfway through this book that I absolutely love like I I don't know I like this character more than any of the characters in the main cast of this book I'm so excited that this character was introduced and I just want to see more of this character um I can't I literally can't say anything else because I don't want to spoil anything if you're going into this series but I will say she is a badass <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say uh yeah this book was awesome. It definitely was action packed from start to finish and it opened it up for like the final book in such a way that like when I read this book, I was like, what just happened? I went down to Marcus and I was like, it's over. It just ended like that. What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to picking up the next one because my mind is still like boggling over the ending of this one. And I need to know what happens. <laughs> I just, I feel like I just like, it was a big cliffhanger that you just dropped off of. And then you're, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's at the bottom. You don't know where it's going. There's just so many unanswered questions and I need to know. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to picking up the next book and finishing off this trilogy. I'm also kind of sad because I love this writing duo. And so like, I'm sad that I'll be done that book. 
but I'm looking forward to finishing another series by those two, and hopefully I enjoy the ending of it. Then I read Night Angel. This is a friggin' chunk of a book, but this is all three books. So I read the first book in the Night Angel trilogy, which is called... What is the first book called? I just kept calling it Night Angel. First book is called The Way of Shadows. So I read The Way of Shadows, and it took me a little while to get into it because, I don't know, I just... There's a lot of, like, world building right off the bat for this one. And so, as we know, I'm a plot-driven reader and I need to just, like, be picked up and gone with the plot right away. So, this is why, like, bigger fantasy books intimidate me. Uh, that being said, it was sitting at, like, a three for most of the book. And then the last third of it picked up and got so intense that it brought it right up to a four. So, I'm giving it a four rating. This one is following the story of like an assassin and his journey as starting out as an apprentice for another assassin and learning like the tricks of the trade and kind of like becoming a full-fledged assassin himself. And yeah, there's like magic tied in with this series. Um, assassins are cool and badass to begin with. So that was fun. It was really interesting to see like the assassin and how they go about doing things. Usually the assassin is like the enemy, but in this book, the assassin is the character you're following. So you get to like learn all the stuff that they do in the background. So I thought that was a lot of fun. Um, there was a lot of character development with the main character and his best friend. So I thought that was really cool and interesting how they like navigated two different worlds. Um, that was interesting. And so yeah, this series, I definitely would want to finish this trilogy. I think that it opened it up for the second book to go in a really cool direction. And so I'm looking forward to eventually getting to that. I'm not sure when I'll pick it up just because it was like a very, this one was like the main time consuming book for me for the month, I think. So we'll have to see when that happens. I also am not a big fan of the chapters in this book because the chapters start on the same page. So you'll finish one, there'll be like a tiny space and then the next chapter starts right underneath it. So there's, it doesn't really feel like there's any breaks and you're just constantly like going and going and going. And I'm not a big fan of that. So yeah, that's just a stylistic issue though. That's not a big deal. So yeah, that's what I thought of this one. And I'll probably eventually continue the series. And then the last book I read was Star Sight. So this is the sequel to Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. And I really enjoyed this one. I gave it a five stars as well. I think that it went in a different direction than I was expecting after reading Skyward. Not that that's a bad thing, it just wasn't what I was expecting, but like overall I was happy with how the book turned out. Um, so if you haven't read Skyward, Skyward is essentially about a girl who becomes a pilot um, uh, following the steps of her father because her father used to be a pilot but then he was branded a coward when on a routine mission he kind of went AWOL and got himself killed. And so she, main character is Spensa. She wants to not live up to that coward name and prove everybody wrong and show that she is a true pilot. And so that was like the basis of the first one. And then this one, I was expecting more like along those lines, but this one was very eye-opening for Spensa in the sense that her character is much more than you would have expected in the first one. And yeah. There's a lot more like exploration into space in this one, which was really cool because I love that. And it was really interesting to see like where they're going with this. I'm looking forward to the last book in this series. I also have heard from other people that there's other like side novellas to this series that you're supposed to read before the last book. So I'm looking forward to getting my hands on those novellas. Although I think I can't really get my hands on them. I'm pretty sure they're only eBooks. So I'm gonna get them for my Kindle. Uh, I'm gonna read those because you better believe I want as much more of this world as I can get. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to those. But yeah, this one just definitely like satisfied my Brandon Sanderson like space love that I wanted from it. And that's what I got. I will say that a lot of the characters from her initial team in the first book 
you don't get to see as much of them in this one. So that was one little like minor thing that I would have wanted more of because I really liked a lot of those characters that were built and those relationships that I built with those characters. I, I had all that, but then there wasn't as much to do with them. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But that being said, the book still had a really intense plot. Lots more new characters introduced. And yeah, it was a fun time. And those are all the books that I read in the month of November. Let me know in the comments down below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, or if you had a favorite book from November, tell me what it is in the comments down below. If you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and a coffee page, which I'll put in the description down below, as well as linked by my bookmarks. You guys know the drill. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification button so you can get notified when I post new videos. I post my videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Until next time, keep on reading.